Let's get something straight. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Coming to you from Oracle Open World 2016 in San Francisco, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, whipping up more technical insight from members of the Oracle community. My name is Danilo Schmiedl. I'm a solution architect and an Oracle Ace Director from Opitz Consulting, a German Oracle Platinum partner. I'm Sven Bernhardt. I'm also an Oracle Ace and work as a solution architect for Opitz Consulting. On your mark, get set, go. Our main focus is on cloud integration, developer productivity and middleware. Here at Oracle Open World, Oracle will present a lot of cool stuff in that space. So um, from our experience in uh, many different uh, integration projects, we know about the importance of DevOps and testing in particular. Um, if you have a high test coverage, it makes your life much easier if you want to move from on-premise to the cloud or if you want to move from an old on-premise version to a new on-premise version. So that is the reason why we at Opitz Consulting implemented our own testing framework to establish a consistent approach for testing all relevant artifacts like SOA services, like people processes, XSLT, XQuery transformations and Java components. And Sven will tell more about it. Yeah, as Danilo already said, we have our own testing framework invented because the out-of-the-box stuff which comes with Sower Suite, for example, only covers some special components like the SCAR testing or the design time testing for uh, Xperia and XSLT. Our testing framework is based on Java. This means you're writing your JUnit test natively as you do in every Java application, which also means you can include it or you can incorporate it with a continuous delivery approach or continuous integration approach to execute your tests automatically and uh, quickly see if something breaks your code after you change something and that's a huge benefit and this testing framework mocks the service components and it's it beneficial uh, for service implementations and we elaborated it with on-premise solutions and also with uh, DevCS and SOACS. What did you think of that tip? Nothing short of a miracle. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.